Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here. Today we're checking out some paint brushes made by Fumui. Fumui Art is a professional manufacturer of brushes, pigments, and digital painting products with more than 30 years of experience. So in this one we're going to be checking out an acrylic paintbrush set. This is a 25 piece set. Uh, it retails for $30. Uh, link below where you can purchase that. If you use my promo code Brian, B-R-I-A-N, capital B, you can get 10% off and that can be combined with free shipping as well. In this one, I'm going to unbox or show you what they look like. We'll go through what is in it and then I'll do a couple of paintbrush tests and then I'll give you my review after using them on my own for a little bit as well. Let's jump into this one. All right, let's open these up for first impression. In case we got a nice case on this, it has a string around it so you can easily close it and keep it closed. Let's unravel that. First impressions, they look great. Okay, this is lined with a plastic, but where the brushes are. So we have our palette knife here. Feels like your average palette knife. This actually is plastic. It looks wood, but it is plastic. Size number three. Your metal though is sturdy. Um, I've got some other ones. Where's my other one here? One that I use here, but this is very flexible. Whereas this is not very flexible. So that's good. You want a sturdy palette knife. So overall, this is looking like a very nice set of paint brushes. I am going to try it out um, now and I'll use it a little bit, use a few of these. I won't get to using all of them, um, but I will use a few of them to kind of test it, see how they um, behave with paint, see how they wash, see how they dry, um, and hopefully they'll hold, all the, well, hold the bristles and hold their shape. So yeah, let's, let's test this out. All right, before we get too deep into it, I did want to go through exactly what was in here. So as you can see, we have our one palette knife. We have two wide flat brushes. We also have five just regular flat brushes. We have five filberts in here. We have three fan brushes. We have a dagger brush. We have a cat tongue brush. Sorry, I'll pull those out for you. There's your cat tongue. Here's your dagger. We have two angle brushes, three round brushes, and one rigger brush in the end. So you got a whole array of tools here that you can do a lot of different things with. This is a really good variety pack. Um, I often don't see this much variety in one, especially with fan brushes. I find fan brushes very hard to come by. So the fact that they have three different sizes in this one is a big plus. I don't see cat tongues very often in these. Um, I don't see dagger brushes very often in these right here. A nice rigger brush in there as well with your rounds. Usually it's just round brushes. This is a super good variety set. I'm really looking forward to testing this one out here. Okay, so I want to run a few tests here, give you more of a feel for how these brushes actually are. Um, this one I've used already, and this one I haven't. I use this one on a wood painting that I've been doing because I paint often on wood, and I wanted to see how it held up because these are quite soft bristles. I wanted to see if it... Um, kind of made them fray a little bit because oftentimes with other brushes I've used they'll, they'll start to fray, they'll start to bray out. If you see this one right here it started to kind of fray out here and I did that quite soon into using it. I did use this one and so far so good. There were no lost strands. It dried nicely. It dried a little bit, kind of curved there, but that's because of how I had set it down. Um, this is one I didn't use so I wanted to kind of compare it there. But so far, painting on wood, which is a little bit rougher, they've held up very nicely on. Here are two of the same size. This one obviously has thicker bristles that are going to leave a lot more texture when painting. And I just wanted to show kind of the differences in how they are used. So I'm going to use this golden thalo blue here on this canvas just so that it's nice, a nice bright color that you can see. Put a little bit down here on my palette. I'm going to load this one up first and I'm just going to do a nice streak here. Now I'm going to load this one up the same. I 
didn't quite get enough on it. Let's load that up a little bit more. Now it's brushing that on nice and smooth. Fantastic. I'm going to show you a close up so you can check it out for yourself. All right, so I showed you there, nice, smooth um, application with these brushes. Now, one other thing I wanted to test here was with fan brushes. Now, I feel I've struggled with fan brushes, finding ones that hold their shape very well. I often find that once fan brushes get wet or get too much paint on them, they kind of clog together and they don't form that nice fan look that you're going for here. So I'm just gonna pull out some yellow light Hansa here. I'm just gonna try it out a little bit see what we can do. I like to use fan brushes for different types of textures and animal fur or different types of textures when um, painting trees or leaves. So that's fan brushes that are one of my favorite tools here. So we got this loaded up. Patting it along there. So far so good. Let's really load this thing up. It started to bunch together a little bit here, but that's just, well, from what I've seen, that's that's common. But it isn't bunching together a ton. I've seen some that bunch together a lot more than that. I'm just gonna rinse this off here. And we'll dry it off here. All right, so I would have to let that dry a little bit more. As you can see, it has bunched together a little bit, but just with the paint, it actually did a fairly good job of holding its shape. And that's kind of the, the part with using fan brushes is you do have to just use them accordingly, right? You're not gonna load up the whole brush. You are gonna load up just the edges there where you do need that to be done. All right, this palette knife here, as I said, nice solid metal piece. Um, the handle here is plastic, which is interesting because all of the paint brushes have this nice wooden handle on them. So that is one interesting point um, that they did do there. And it doesn't have the name like all the paint brushes do. Here we got our cat's eye. Now this is a paintbrush, a type of paintbrush that I haven't used very often. But that is a nice one there. I'm going to get some chromium oxide green going on here just a little bit there these are all heavy body paints that i'm using just to see how these brushes hold up against a nice heavy body paint so with this kind of brush you can really create that nice fine point you know i could easily go in afterwards add some little highlights and these would make really nice close-up leaves. You can turn it this way to get a little bit more thinner there. But that is a nice tool that has a nice point on the end. I do like the addition of the cat's eye. Or cat's tongue, sorry. Not, I probably said cat's eye before too. Cat's tongue. All right, I'm gonna just use these on my own a bit more. I'm not gonna record the whole thing, but I wanna test out a few more of them and then I'll give you my overall review. Okay, so I've been able to use these a little bit more. I've had them for uh, about a month now, actually, and I wanted to give you my full thoughts and review on them. In terms of quality, I really like um, the wooden feel that these have. They're nice and light. They're not heavy in the hand. You're e more easily able to maneuver them. They feel nice and solid as well. The name looks nice on there as well. A little side note. So far, I haven't had any brush hair loss from any of the ones that I've used. Note, I haven't really used all of them heavily. Obviously, I use angular brushes a lot more with uh, the mixed media wood paintings that I do. And so far, they've held up really nice, the couple of angle brushes that I've used here. Um, that's a really important thing that I'm not losing brush hairs uh, when you're painting. That's, that's a very annoying thing. So, so far, so good with that. I'm very pleased with that. Um, these are synthetic hairs and synthetic hairs bounce back really easily, which is really nice. So they're holding their shape better as well. Oftentimes I get brushes that end up looking more like this. I don't know if you, how well you can see that, but they really start to sp almost like split or fray at the end there. And that causes issues when I'm 
you know, painting in tight corners and then paint gets where you don't want it. So, so far these have been really good at holding their shape and I'm really impressed with that as well. Um, these bigger brushes are even lighter, um, but so far this one has done good at holding its shape, uh, which has been nice because I find these types of brushes to be the ones that lose hairs faster than other ones, but so far so good with this one. One just random note that I don't know why this one doesn't have, the palette knife doesn't have a wooden handle or doesn't have the name engraved into it, but the actual palette knife metal piece itself is uh, feels very good quality. It's nice and sturdy, not flimsy like the other one that I showed you, so I am impressed with the actual metal piece. Just not quite so, so sure about the handle there. Um, in terms of variety, you're getting a wide variety in this pack. I often don't see quite the variety that you can see here in this one. I'm not going to go through them all again, but I really like the variety that you see here. In terms of price, we're looking at $30, which really isn't that bad for the 25 different tools that you're getting, plus the case that you're um, getting as well. You can keep yourself nice and organized with this as well. Um, you can also use my promo code, just Brian, B-R-I-A-N, capital B, and that's going to get you a 10% off on their website. Plus, uh, that can be used with free shipping as well, which is really nice. So you're actually getting these for, in my opinion, a very good steal of a deal here. Um, I'm impressed with these. I hope that you will be too if you check them out. Make sure you check out their website for other types of paintbrushes as well. They have really nice watercolor paintbrushes. They have oil um, paint brushes, they have model paint brushes, all different types of paint brushes for different types of projects that you're using. You can use my promo code for any of those as well and get that 10% off there as well. Um, so this is the first week of January 2024. If you're watching this quite a bit later, feel free to comment below or send me a message and ask how they're holding up still. I plan to continue to use these in the long term, so I really am interested to see how they go um, more than just like a month of using them as I've used them right now. Um, I've as as I can see, I think they're going to last a long time, and my paintbrushes get uh, <laughs> no, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say abused is the right word, but they they get used pretty heavily, especially the angular ones that I, I really like, or some of the smaller flat ones as well. So feel free to message me, and I'll update you on how those ones are. I'll link below where you can find these. Make sure you use that promo code if you're interested, and we'll see you next time here on Brian Sloan Artist.